Oh man, top 10 moments. Skip Bayless got owned. Soon as I see this was a video, I had to watch it. So yeah. Um, uh, uh, man, rest in peace, old first take. Max be talking a lot of crazy shit now. I fuck with I fuck with the new first take, but let's just watch this. Before we even start talking about anything, I miss Skip Bayless. No, because this is my this is my debating finger. Okay. <laughs> I came here ready. Okay. 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 You to discuss me. <laughs> I'm gonna come out and say it. You know nothing about sports. I sit in my bed and watch you guys talk about nothing every morning. Do you know how upset it makes me to hear you guys go back and forth? You know forth? what I know? Well, I, I have one question here. Well, ask it, Skip. Well, why, why morning after morning do you sit up in your bed watching us talk about nothing? Could it be because you're addicted to watching us talk about nothing? No, no. Like so many viewers are? No, no. no I'm yes, addicted. yes, yes. I'm addicted to what are you going to say wrong next? Oh, <laughs> that's what I'm you know, Skip, I've never seen a man that, that can be wrong and, and keep the same straight face. <laughs> I've never seen somebody that's wrong so much. I have seen Skip contradict himself so many times and look in the camera and not blink. When it comes to LeBron James, how many times is this man contradicting himself. When is he going to show up? When is LeBron James going to do this? I expect more from an MVP. He in the is that fourth how he quarter, does it with this the hands what he does himself? when he gets mad. He should never. I, oh, okay. MVP hey. would never in the fourth quarter. Okay. He show it. Remember he was saying that LeBron James was uh was showing, was show siding. Showboat. Yeah, show. What was it called? Show in the fourth yeah. quarter. Thank That's he what he did. You much. did this. He should have. He should have sat down. The game was over. Shut up, Skip. <laughs> <laughs> no sense. It's the NBA. We here to play. Oh yeah, I'm liking this video already. Hey, you say things for shock value. You I don't do believe a thing you say. Oh, that's a lie. Did you hear what you just said? I hear everything I just said. It makes no sense at all. I think Adrian Peterson is slightly overrated. You didn't just go there. See? I You're did go there. Didn't just I go went there, there yesterday. The company, you keep that's, that. that's worse than Hayden. I have a lot of haters. <laughs> yourself. Vegetables. I like to call them vegetables. They taste bad, but they're good for you. When you just say Adrian Peterson is a little overrated, that's when you belong in the mental hospital. Did you just say the line is overrated? I say it every day. You say you belong in a me mental hospital. <laughs> Adrian Peterson is definitely you not boy, overrated. You and you and your man crush. We know you got a little man crush with your <laughs> with your boy out there in Denver. Oh wait, it's you mean right. you, you mean the guy who took a wait, wait, wait. It. hold on the guy who took a one and four team to the AFC West Championship? Is that the guy you're talking about? Oh my, Skip, he finished eight and eight. <laughs> seven and four. Seven and four. That, that was that, him as starter. That's eight and eight. That's eight and eight, Skip. You know what we call that? That's mediocrity. That's 50 50. I call that the champ of the it West. Right down the That's what I call it. Champ of the West. So you got champ no respect. Really? You got no respect for really? Tim Tebow. They got it. Oh my God. Is that what you're He's saying? He's all right. He's all right. I mean, come on. Let's be honest, Skip. I can put up those numbers. He was. Oh, so you're Let's saying you're a better quarterback than Tebow? I might as well play Tebow? football. Is that right? Uh, the numbers. It's all about numbers, man. Uh, I, I mean, I, I give me a shot. Let's see what we can do. Let's create my own offense, and let's see. You know, let, hopefully, I can. My kicker can nail a 62-yarder, bail me yeah, out a yeah, few yeah. times. You know Jesus what? shows up. I, I you know, think... you know they say the prayers of the righteous avail of mud. That boy be praying on that sideline, boy. Well, I would it not, I don't, I don't feel comfortable. In the fourth quarter. I don't. I don't. I don't feel comfortable. I gotta pray every fourth quarter. Like, oh my God, please come save me again. You know what? Let's just go out there and win the game. I think but you, hey, like you said, like you said, you, you challenged my boy Joe I the did. last time we played the other guys you're sweet on, and I said <laughs> Tim Tebow couldn't do it. We get the opportunity to see. Yeah, okay. We get I, the opportunity to see. In your heart of hearts, would you rather have Tim Tebow or Joe this. Flacco? Which one? Are you kidding me? No, why, I'm not Why don't you me. like my quarterback, Skip? Why don't, is, is it his mustache? Is it his, his I don't his like eyebrows? his mustache. I will give you that is one. Is it that he's not as... as is it because Tim Tebow's prettier? I mean, I understand you got your man crush, but you can't force that on the rest of us. Hey, Skip, I understand the competitive force of nature. I understand what you're talking about. This and nobody's lit. arguing that Tim Tebow is a great football player. I bow down. He's a great football player. I love that kid. I think he's got unbelievable passion. All the intangibles that you talk about, there's no question about that. But you're the same guy that has said, hey, Vince Young is a winner. Vince Young this. All yeah. I see is him on the sideline yeah. moping around, him on the sideline not leading his team. He's not a winner. He's a guy that won some football games. But you 
know what? He is flawed. I, I t you, you talk about Aaron Rodgers being, I think, overrated or can't drive a team back Thank in the fourth you. quarter. Please, Skip. That's just wrong. And ultimately, hey, answer on, this question for on. me. Wait, answer one question. Do you think right now, coming up in the 2012 draft, there would be one team in the NFL, give me one team in the NFL, do you think would trade their first round draft choice right now straight across for Tim Tebow? And the answer is no. There is nobody in the NFL that would do that right now. And Argue every it. one of them would be a fool not to trade oh, for Tim there you Tebow. Go. A fool. There you go. Everyone there you go. without the a quarterback would answer the question. They okay, wouldn't do it. Second. They wouldn't do it. There's not one team that would. Yes, they, well, then they're idiots. Oh, okay, but you, Mark, Mark, I got a question back for you. What happens in crunch time? Because all of a sudden I see that long delivery get quick. I see accuracy. I see velocity. I see him pick out receivers that should be picked out. I even see great deep throws in the third oh, quarter. Oh, Thomas hitting him right I don't know hand. why I missed Mark, Skip so much. I saw much. 380 yards he, passing listen to this nigga. last year. What more do you need uh, to convince you that he you, can you, throw the football? You love him, but you hate him at the same the time. You know what I mean? Uh, the, the, the first three and three quarters quarters, that would be 15 16 if you break down the math. The first three and three quarters quarters, that's the you evidence him, I see. Why are you blind time, to that bro. evidence? I mean, you know, and the problem is, is that everybody who's on the Tim Table bandwagon sits there and looks at those first three and three quarters, and you know what? They don't say, Tim's got to get better. Tim would be the first to tell you, as a quarterback, I have to get better, right? But what you see is, well, John Fox isn't putting him in the right formations. John Fox isn't opening up the offense for him. The, the Denver Broncos are trying to hold Tim Tebow down. Would you stop it with that garbage talk? That's why people get angry. Mark. Mark. <laughs> what I do want to say, however, is uh, Tebow Mania is dead, and I'm going to tell you why. He is now playing on the greatest stage in all of the world with the New York Jets in the greatest city in the entire world. While he's out being a star and a celebrity walking red carpets and trying to get mentioned on any possible pop culture blog there is, his true colors are being exposed. He wants to be a celebrity as much as the Kardashians continue to want to be celebrities. And now that that is being seen by the world, I hope you will finally realize that he's no football player. He's just a wannabe rock star. Look who he's guarding. Damn. He's matched up with Kawhi Leonard. He helped she just... off of Leonard to stop the penetration. Okay, but, but he goes out and runs into Ginobili. He stopped. That's a, okay. that's a help and recover play. Okay. He all right, stopped all right. him. But his yeah. man is Kawhi okay, Leonard. Okay, I, I'm with you on that. Okay, so but they run together. He runs into Ginobili. But he's just okay, stopping the Okay, but don't give me ball. this. Ginobili's going like this. Ginobili's protecting himself too. He, they run together. He prevented him from making any play on the shooter. He's not trying to make a play on the shooter. He's making a play. He's stopping Ginobili from going to the hole. No, the play is. He's ultimately the guarding. He has left his Skip. man. He is guarding. He's Skip. stopping the drive. I, I participated in this kind of defense for 10 years in the okay. NBA. That I've a, watched it for 30 a years. Help and recover. He wasn't guarding Ginobili. He, he was stopping Ginobili. He was helping to, yes, to yeah. pick up the penetration. Okay. And guess what the next part of it is? Okay. When he passes it, you recover to the okay. shooter. There's no pick play. Ginobili's not trying to pick him. They run into each other. They run it. James and Ginobili Harden's, puts his arms up James to stop Harden's himself. very next step is going to be to step and extend he, on the he's shooter. He's got a lane to go to, to Kawhi. He if does he not. To go. And he <laughs> flopped. He flopped. He flopped the way, and all of a sudden, it's, it's karmic can, justice, can if you we, want to call it. Can we respectfully disagree and move on to the heat? No. I don't know. <laughs> Why? This is good. That's a clear cut one to me. I'm sorry. Right. And I'm we have, I'm told, I, haven't anybody, seen, I haven't seen this. I'm told uh, that we have a freeze. And I don't think Skip is debating this point that he is matched up no, with Leonard he is. Okay, but to what start I'm saying the play. Is, he's guarding Ginobili because he's going to stop the drive. Right. He thinks Ginobili's going to the hole. But it's 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 a help, which is this part yeah. you're talking about, and then it's a recover if he passes it. Okay. If Ginobili shot the ball right there, he probably would have tried to take a charge. Okay. Is he facing Kawhi or facing Ginobili? He's facing Ginobili. Yes, because he's going to he stop helps. the drive. Oh, no, my I know. God. He just Skip, it's a help and recover. That. Okay, the point That's is. That's what he did. He <laughs> face to face Skip. Skip. It's a fucking help and recover. Right now, with your eye, your lion eyes. That my lion eyes. My correct eyes. That man is Ginobili. My 2020 eyes. Is that what you're talking about? You're telling me right now. Now that Manny Ginobili did not pass the ball and continue his momentum in the direction he had no that choice to prevent him from getting to the corner. Harden got in his way. They ran face to face together. Oh Ginobili my. is. Wait, wait, wait. Oh 
<laughs> go back. <laughs> Right now, with your eye, your lion eyes, that my lion that eyes, that you know my me, correct that eyes, that you know my 2020 eyes. Is that what you're talking you're about? Right now, that you know me did not pass the ball and continue with his momentum in the direction. He had no that choice. To prevent him from getting to the corner. Harden got in his way. They ran face to face together. Ow. Oh my! You know Ow! 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 Every day, hey, Harden mm -hmm. could have gone mm -hmm. to the corner mm -hmm. to, to mm -hmm. take the man he should have taken, but he wanted to stop Ginobili. He, he said, "My 2020 eyes." He Is he that what you're talking about? Those teams are taught. I, you take I, away penetration hey, first. You're making my case. Right. Thank you. Hey, you think he's just gonna quit when he passes it? Well, I got mine now. He did quit. In the he corner. flopped. He didn't flop. He flopped he and got, got a call. A pick. You know why? Because the skip, referees skip, had decided at that point, Oklahoma City is going to the final. The only thing missing yeah, today was your skip, silver tie. Skip. It's just like Kobe in his prime. If they lose, he didn't get enough touches. But basketball is oh different my because gosh, my you have hurts. that liberty to he take over. You should have been a basketball player. I think you've been happier being a basketball player. Not good. I know. I got it. But he's pretty good. He's pretty. He can't play in the NBA. But he's pretty good. He sucks at basketball. You can't play in the NBA. You can even play in high school. You average one point four points a game. And so what's that have to do with this conversation? What is that? That's what. That's why everybody do comments 1.4 on uh Bayless so and Tweets now. Just to follow the game. Just because you're a power forward, that doesn't make you physical. Just because you're a shooting guard, that don't mean you can jack up threes. That's what, just what were you, position. Jalen? What were you? What were you? Did you? What average, were you? Did you average 1.4 yeah, points yeah, 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 as a senior yeah. in high school? Yeah, I did. Okay, so all of that pistol P stuff, water pistol P okay. Jr. Okay, well, we'll we'll address that later. We're okay. going to. Yeah. Don't ignore that. Did you play junior? Yeah. Did you play JV as a junior? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I followed you. What were you? you. Okay. What were you? What was your uh, position? I have no position. I have you no position. You are a point guard. I have no game. We want to start by just he finding said out. He said JV is a junior. I, I more than one oh, issue. he's what's baking his ass. It's not just Skip, it's, it's sports writers, sports media in general, where everything's generalities, right? Excruciating pressure. What the hell is that, right? You know, it was need excruciating leader. pressure. That's it, what it was. Is that meaning what, Skip? Meaning that you personally watched up close and personal what LeBron went through last year against your Dallas Mavericks. Was it not the biggest collapse of a superstar that we've ever witnessed on a, a finals or championship stage? No, I mean, first of all, it's a team game. Right, you guys like to talk in complete generalities where no one can question you, right? You, you don't ever use facts. You don't ever use substance. You don't, don't ever, ever use, use facts. No. That's all I use on this show. <laughs> Excruciating pressure, undeniable this. You know, it's just all generalities. There, there's never been a star under more pressure going into a finals, a championship series or game than LeBron James was under after nine years and three league MVPs. Well, first of all, you have the presumption that people care what you say. They don't. That when, when guys go out there, when guys go out there, no, no, I, I'm talking about media in general. When guys get ready to play and they're in the locker room, they're not thinking, okay, well, what's written, what's going to be written, what's being said, right? I mean, they're getting prepared. And if you've got a good coach and you've got a good culture, then guys are ready to play no matter what. Like you guys were just talking about, you know, Miami wanted to, wanted it more or less. Like that is just such, such horse, you know what, right? There's no such thing as team. It's not that Oklahoma City don't want it more. I think Miami was better prepared to play the game than Oklahoma City in terms of, of adjustments and changes. Now, if you want to start, talk about double teams and how they were used, whether or not they should have played zone, um, what defensive structure was in Stephen place, just that's sitting a there conversation. But you're saying they wanted it more. That's ridiculous. Okay. When, you get to, when you're Kevin Durant and you're um, um, Derek Fisher and you're Russell Westbrook, etc., and you're at that, that closeout game, there's nobody that wants it more. It's just a question of who executes better. You know, Skip Bayless, I'm an idiot because I, I'm an idiot because somehow, some way, I worked with you every day for the last three years, and there are times where you, you, I five I'm years. still Go amazed. Ahead. I'm still amazed by the the stuff that comes out of your mouth. I I don't understand why I did not see this coming. I do not understand why I did not see okay. this coming. I should have looked at your tweets. Maybe I would have known Refute better, but me. I don't read your tweets, I just so made I didn't my know case. any better. Refute I didn't know that, 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 that. Listen, zip it. I'm talking. I let you talk. <laughs> this is you're unbelievable. Let me tell you something, Skip Bayless. I. I Kyrie was sensational. I get that. It's not that you're wrong with the points you're making. 
It's just that your conclusion is wrong because you believe that equals league MV NBA Finals MVP over a superstar with all the expectations of the world heaped on his shoulders who led the team, who led both teams in the finals in points, rebounds, assists, steals, and block shots. Got you it. are unbelievable. <laughs> Four back-to-back 41-point back games. In fact, I, I told y'all, did, did I not just tell you I have to let you talk? Did I not just tell you that? Zip it. I'm talking, okay? Back-to-back 41-point -back games in five, in games five and six. A triple-double in game seven. By the way, not only that, momentum swinging things. Kyrie Irving skipped didn't show up for the first two games of the finals. Neither did Now, game wrong. three and on, yep. game three and on, he was spectacular. First two games, he shot 33% from the field. Mm -hmm. He missed 24, 36 yep. shots. He was a virtual no-show. But he came on strong in those last five mm -hmm. games, got hurt a little bit with his foot, really left it up to LeBron to carry the bucket in the second half of game six. We get all of that. But under no circumstances, and the big shot that he made was he definitely deserves credit for. It was an elevated version of Paxson or Kerr because they didn't fed, they didn't get fed the ball by LeBron. He he stepped back on on Steph Curry himself and did what he did. But this notion, he deserves some credit in terms of defending Steph Curry. Skip Bayless, I would say to you, did you forget about this dude? by the name of Tristan Thompson, who was chasing Steph Curry around, wing to wing, all series long. You forget about Tristan Thompson? Yes. You think that Kyrie Irving at 6'2", okay, did, did that to Steph Curry all yes. by himself. So, 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 so what about the switching that took place? What There's about some. the fact that Amon, hold it, hold it. What about the <laughs> fact that Amon Shumpert was on Steph, that, that Kyrie was on <laughs> Steph, that Tristan Thompson, he wasn't just switching on Steph, he literally was chasing Steph Curry one wing to the other wing. Okay, then uh, occasionally yeah. go back and watch the game. Go back and watch that. I'm not gonna argue with you about that. The point is, when you look at LeBron and all that he did throughout this series, there is no question that the man deserved it, it no, not taking away anything from Kyrie Irving because we all recognize that LeBron lost the finals last year without Kyrie and he won it this year with Kyrie but there is no doubt that LeBron James deserved NBA finals MVP for a third time no doubt the man showed up he could have got it last year even though they lost sit up there with a straight face mm -hmm. and try to take it away from him it, 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 it's shameful it's blasphemous, okay? That's blasphemous. In your I eyes. cannot believe that mm -hmm. you would say something like that. But then again, I'm the idiot because if anybody would be the ultimate contrarian, it no. would be you. No. Unbelievable. You, Unbelievable. You, you, Why am I? I I'm, I'm just, I, I can't believe you I'm know surprised. how I've been built for many, for 12 years on this show. I'm all about who makes the big shot at the biggest moment. Who made the most valuable shot what in, about the, in the seven that LeBron games? Made? What about the three that LeBron made? What about him going to the basket in the fourth quarter? Obviously okay. keeping them in it as well. What about that? Did LeBron I hit just, a big time three from the left wing? Did, uh, did he do that? Zealy? I'll give him one. He made one in the no, game. No, I said it was a three. Yeah. I didn't say it was, it was one. It, it doesn't five. matter who it was against. I'll give you that. You, you, you're, 20, you're 23 feet away from the basket. Okay. He hit a three. But the game is still teetering. It's tied at 89. What about with, the block on Iguodala? Do I get to talk? Defense don't do matter I get to answer either? any of your questions? <laughs> Go ahead. Just one. <laughs> what happened with 429 left down to 53 seconds? This is it. This is for the NBA championship. Each team shoots six times and misses all six shots. LeBron, That's happened to everybody. LeBron James shot four times and missed all four shots. And that happened finally, to Kobe against Boston. Finally, What'd you say then? Kyrie Irving said, get out of my way. Give me the ball and watch what's about to happen. And he didn't just LeBron dance on somebody. That. that was way LeBron before that. LeBron before that. Way before that. Okay, that was like oh. mid-quarter. This, this is down the stretch with the championship on the line. That was the shot heard round the world. If LeBron had made that shot with 53 seconds left, we'd never hear the end of it. I haven't heard much. I give you credit because at least you gave him credit in your opening soliloquy he on the show. He deserves credit. Not many people have given. Like, that was such a huge Game 7 late shot. 
It won the championship, and I don't hear anybody talking about it. Even after the game, it was all LeBron. And it should be a whole lot of LeBron, but I think people are overlooking how valuable the contributions were of the best shooter and scorer on the team, who is Kyrie Irving. And you always say he has become the closer. I value closers more than stat stuffers, stat sheet stuffers. All right, so I, when, so when, I, when is he, well, he going to get owned? Closers more than stat stuffers, too, if the, clo- if, if the stat stuffers don't do anything when it counts. LeBron makes plays on both ends of the floor. He led the team in five different damn categories. Yeah, I, I can't ignore that. I'm not saying that Kyrie Irving wasn't sensational. I'm not cl- saying that he doesn't deserve I'll go as far as to say this. LeBron doesn't win the championship without Kyrie. Doesn't do it. Doesn't well, do sure. it at all. But that doesn't mean he no. was the MVP. Okay. Well, obviously, Kyrie doesn't win the championship without LeBron. But when you're talking about value to team, who set the tone in game value six. Value to team. Value to that, team. Value to team. Yes. Is different when did than, you score so, your points? Tone setters vary from game to game. In the end, value to team matters most. And value to team, let me tell you something right now. We all know who, who owns that category. When LeBron goes to your team, you're an instant title contender. When he ain't there, you're a has-been or an average team at best. That's a fact. Okay. And by the way, I got to say about how much credit you gave LeBron and you did make mention. Listen, Iguodala was not right last night. He was stiff. He he, he just wasn't. And so he's got the breakaway and he's thinking, should I? And I always tell you, nobody plays harder, longer than LeBron James. He's in phenomenal physical condition, and it, it showed again. He played the most minutes in the game last night, and he looked as fresh in the end as he was in the beginning. I credit that. And he, that chase down block, that was just sheer effort. But Iguodala, what's he doing? He just kind of shies away from the basket and says, I think I'll try a little right-handed scoop shot over my head. It was the easiest block LeBron's ever had because Iguodala what, 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 didn't think see, he could see, go see. up strong with his back. You, you know, you, you're looking at the shot Iguodala took. I'm looking at a LeBron James who came out of nowhere, who had his hand damn near at the top of the backboard and his face had to move out of the way or the rim because that's how high he went up to get it. At that pivotal moment in the game, somebody that shows up on the defensive end of the floor as well as the offensive end of the floor. Kyrie Irving is going to give you the business offensively. LeBron James gave you the business, period. Points, rebounds, assists steals and block shots leading in all five categories and you're going to sit here and say that Kyrie Irving deserved league uh, I, NBA I, finals I, MVP you're unbelievable I, you're I unbelievable. am unbelievable because you know yes, I'm you right are. deep down you know I'm right I know you're you wrong know I know you're you know wrong what? as usual I'm gonna say it again. that's what I know I feel sorry for Kyrie Irving this oh, morning please. I feel oh, please. sorry you, for him and let me tell you that right now nearly I, I, I saw credit. Kyrie last night I spoke to him last night there's nothing to feel sorry for him for He's a, he was in Vegas last night having a blast and well, he's so be in so Cleveland today having a blast. You know, he's going to be sorry for him. He's a champion. What are you talking about? Well, <laughs> oh, please. Yeah, you're ridiculous. Mm. Ridiculous. <laughs> Time is up. 74 to 26. Stephen A. Smith wins the debate. What? He won it? Yes. T.I., you know it's all about numbers. Are you kidding me? I'm, out. I'm, I'm, I'm walking off the set for that one. I'm done. I don't want to hear this anymore because we know what's right about this. I'm out. <laughs> Hell no, man. Skip. You hate him, but you love him. You hate him, but you love him. He said, Adrian Peterson is overrated. Oh, man. <laughs> that was one of my favorite parts. That Tim Langler where he was like, these are these 2020 eyes. That was funny as fuck. T.O. telling me average 1.4. Jay and the Ross telling me average 1.4. And he was on JV as a junior. Damn, damn, that was a bar. Damn, that was damn. Jalen, he should have brought up Kobe with for 81 on his damn face. That's what I would have resorted to. Jalen, you talking a lot of shit to let Kobe go for 81 on your damn neck? What the fuck? But anyway, uh, people like you, you're surprised to do that. Last clip was way too fucking long. But other than that, I had fun with this. Um, tweet me more ideas, Instagram, comment, all of that cool shit. Thank y'all for the support. Man, 425. Let's do it.